Hi and welcome to Cinex Movies. Today, I'll be narrating a 2020 American action thriller film about a fearless black market mercenary who embarks on the most deadly extraction of his lifetime to rescue a boy who happens to be the son of a drug lord. Unwind and enjoy. In Mumbai, India, Ovi Mahajan, the son of an imprisoned international crime lord, Ovi Mahajan is seen returning from school with his friends driven in a car. They stop by a restaurant to relax and chatter as his friends try hard to tease him about a girl around who seems to notice him. Ovi is taken back home, but there's a sudden change in his mood just after he's dropped off at home in contrast to how he appeared earlier while he was with his friends. Saju Rath, who works for Ovi's father, intercepts him at the door and says something like a reminder to him about friends. Saju is a father too. He has a wife and a son who loves dearly. Ovi nods soberly and goes on to play the piano. He does this anytime he's nervous. Home alone, just after dinner, Ovi receives a message from his friend Sachin, inviting him over to the club. At the club, Sachin takes Ovi outside the clubhouse and lit up a cigarette. After inhaling, he gives Ovi to try it out. Men in police uniform approach where they were standing and Sachin quickly drops the cigarette. The policemen ask questions and before Sachin could provide answers, he gets shot in the head by the men and Ovi bundled away with them. Mumbai Central Prison is where Ovi's father is kept and Saju pays a visit, informing him of his boy's kidnap. Saju gets a warning to get Ovi back or he stands to lose his family. That was a threat. Tyler Rake from Kimberley, Australia, is a fearless black market mercenary, a broken man who seems to care less about any other thing than money. Tyler battles with a trauma from the past with blurry images of a little boy. He deals with it by diving into a river getting to the bottom, sits and holds his breath for a really long while. Tyler is hired by a group headed by Nick Khan to rescue Ovi, the kidnapped son of the crime lord. For him at first, it's all about the money, but a lot of things are about to change. Tyler's group arranges for Tyler and Ovi to meet other team members on a boat after securing the boy for extraction. It's revealed that Ovi got kidnapped by a rival group headed by Amir Asif, who also recruits really young teenagers into his awful gang. Tyler arrives in Dhaka, Bangladesh, and while he waits in an open restaurant, a call comes in giving him instructions for a meetup. On getting to the location, he's rather bundled in an unpleasant manner to where Ovi is kept. At the slum where Tyler is taken, he demands to see the kidnapped boy to be sure he's safe with the promise to secure their payment after seeing him. Little did they know, Tyler had a lot of his sleeves. Ovi is shown to Tyler with evidence of being beaten up following the bruises he's got on his face and traces of blood stains on his shirt. As soon as Tyler confirms Ovi's alive, with assistance from his team on the outside, a lot of gun, knife, and hand battles ensued. Tyler is able to defeat all the men, leaving just one child who could barely handle a gun and is scared to death. Tyler is successful at securing Ovi to a waiting car and are headed for extraction through the woods. Tyler hands him a snack as he suspects Ovi's blood sugar must be really low by now and wears him a shield. The boat prepared for extraction is hijacked, killing Tyler's team members already waiting for action. Accompanied with this bad news are two speedboats heading towards the main boat with armed men. It turned out that Saju was the other person in the woods trying to secure Ovi from Tyler and his men. Tyler and Ovi are left with no other choice than to run back to the same car they came with back to the city. There's a lot of car chases as Tyler makes an effort to escape the police vehicles that trailed them with Saju and a hot chase after them. Tyler and Saju collide dealing themselves with hot blows until Tyler is able to escape again with Ovi, leaving Tyler and Saju separately injured. Tyler and Ovi are able to go undercover in a safe location with Tyler injured on the arm. Tyler received a call from Nick saying there was a hope of escaping, but for that to happen, he'll need to leave Ovi behind. This gets him nostalgic as the blurry image of a little boy appears again. As the call ends, Tyler notices Ovi doing something with his fingers, and he asks him what he was doing. Ovi replies and says he's playing the piano, and that's what he does whenever he's nervous. Ovi goes ahead to reveal his dad thinks of him more like a thing than a person, just like Tyler after overhearing Tyler's conversation with Nick. Saju calls home from a guest house with a lot of injuries and a broken nose just to hear from his wife and son. He's also emotional as he's scared of losing them, while following the threat given to him by Ovi's father. Ovi receives another call from Nick that there's a ride waiting for him on the east side of the bridge, but it's for him alone. Tyler calls the job off and insists on taking Ovi along with him. He clearly has developed a soft spot for Ovi, probably owing to the image of the boy that keeps appearing in his head. 
While Tyler and Ovi go ahead to make it out in a bus, they get attacked by an armed gang of teenagers. As we see him battle, Tyler clearly doesn't enjoy killing children or teenagers. He just leaves them injured or lets the very little ones go. Ovi and Tyler escape through the sewage and are forced to stay in the stench until the rescue driver, Gaspar, comes along. Gaspar is Tyler's old time buddy, who got saved by Tyler once before. Tyler and Ovi are only able to spend a night at Gaspar's before he stitches on them for a sum of $10 million. But before this event, Tyler and Ovi are involved in a conversation where Tyler revealed in a rather emotional state, which we'd never seen Tyler in before that he once had a six-year-old son who died a few years ago of lymphoma. Now he wasn't even there when his son died, Cozy volunteered to serve in the armed forces as he couldn't bear to watch his son's health deteriorate. This explains the blurry image of a little boy that keeps appearing in his head. He can also tell where his wife was at the moment. Tyler gets to know Gaspar spoke to someone about Ovi, and they'll be there soon for him in exchange for the money. Tyler is mad at Gaspar as they begin to exchange blows. Ovi walks into the room and shoots at Gaspar, regrettably. Tyler calls Saju for help, as the whole situation is clearly beyond him. He promised to cover them while they make it out of the city, getting Ovi across the bridge. Saju accepts. Meanwhile, there's a search warrant everywhere all ready for Ovi. Saju goes undercover, and with Tyler's help, he's able to get on the bridge until a soldier notices them and demands Ovi remove his face cap as they almost approach the other side of the bridge. Saju instructs Ovi on what to do as he tries to make sure Ovi gets across safely, but Saju loses his life in the process. Nick comes with backup for Tyler as the situation is way beyond Tyler's control. With tons of action, shooting and killing for the rest of the movie, Tyler already quite injured. Walking the highway gets shot in the neck once more by a teenager upon returning to Nick thinking the whole job's done. And it looks like Tyler is bleeding out. There's the recurring blurry image of Tyler's late son, who had died a few years ago. Tyler in this pain makes it to the edge of the bridge and jumps off after ensuring Ovi was safe with Nick. Ovi is really emotional as he tries to reach for Tyler, but he's stopped by Nick likely overwhelmed by the fact that someone gave himself up for him to be safe. Ovi gets to go with Nick to a better place as he changes schools and mixes with different people in a better environment. Emir Asif, the leader of the gangsters in Dhaka, eventually gets shot and killed at the convenience by a lady during an event. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.